Hi guys, David here. Uh, a quick little announcement video. I just wanted to let you guys know that after much sort of requests and nagging and complaining and whinging and bitching and fighting, I have finally given in and that I have gone and got myself a post office box. Now, I've been getting lots of emails from people over the last few months who have been asking me for a postal address so they can send me letters or if they see something in a magazine like a recipe that they can clip out and post to me and things like that. And I generally resisted it simply because, well actually there's two reasons. One was the cost because um, post office boxes, especially where we are, is very expensive and you have to pay for them up front. You don't just buy, pay them by the month or anything like that. So that was one thing that I resisted. But um, I had to buy a post office box anyway because I've set up doing YouTube as a business. So I needed to have a business address that um, so I could get stuff securely because my post box here at home is really unreliable. I'm fairly certain people are stealing my mail. But um, yeah, so I did that. But um, the other reason was I didn't really want to encourage people to send me things because I didn't really need them to do that. Because uh, one thing that I've been getting is a lot of people emailing me saying, oh, I saw such and such a thing at the shops and I'd really like to buy it for you and send it to you. What's your address? And I've always been very polite and replied to them and said, look, I appreciate your generosity, but you really don't need to be buying me presents and things like that. And despite me trying to be as diplomatic and polite as possible, a lot of people have been very offended by my not accepting their gift. And so... What I've decided is that obviously it must be some kind of a cultural thing or whatever that um, it's probably easier just for me to have the post box and if someone wants to send me something then so be it. But I'm not actively encouraging people to do that. So if you do want to send me a letter or if you see something in a magazine like a recipe or something that you want to clip out and send to me or whatever, um, Feel free to send me something. The address is actually on both of my channel pages here on YouTube, both on the One Pot Chef Show and One Pot Chef Blog channel page. It's also on the About page on OnePotChefShow.com. So if you're looking for the address, it's right there. And feel free to use it how you see fit. Please do not send me bombs because Australia Post kind of frowns on exploded post office boxes. <laughs> Especially considering how much I can pay for it. Actually, it's a bit funny because um, I set it up on Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah, it's Friday today. So Wednesday, I set it up in the afternoon and I put the address up on the channel pages and on the uh, website Wednesday afternoon after I got home. And Thursday morning, I got an email from Australia Post telling me that there was mail in the box and I'm there going... How is that possible? Like, it's so quick. Like, I, I've only just put it up yesterday afternoon. And so later in the day, I went down to the post box, opened it up, and there was nothing there. <laughs> and I had to go into the post office and say, look, what's going on? And apparently it was some kind of a malfunction with their system. So, like, I, I don't know what the go was with that. But I, I thought it was unusual that I would get mail so quickly. But, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've got the post office box now, so should you wish to send me things like letters or whatever, you've got the option to do it now. So thank you very much, and I love you all, and I'm off to go and film a cooking video right now. I'm finally feeling better after this whole bout with the flu, so I'm trying to catch up because I'm very, very far behind with my video filming. So, all right, guys, lots of love to you. Mwah. Keep out of trouble. Bye.